thing. Let's do showbiz now. You know what? When it gets to this time, then of course, you see one of the most pretty faces on screens mm -hmm. coming your way. Yeah, that's what it is. There. That's that's it. me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for that ma introduction, ma Brace. Ma Mama e Eve. Oh, you want me to speak, Eve? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I can now for the introduction. Eh? You look good today. Thank you. Oh, you always do. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate you uh, telling me I, I look good and all of that. Makes me feel really good. Uh, but you, you know, you're, 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 you're too beautiful, not just in face, but in, in you know, oh. in spirit as well. Oh. Okay. So. Well, let me take you to spirit. Yeah. So what do we have today? You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. So, Kessie. You know mm -hmm. Kessie, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he used to be a secular musician, mm -hmm. now a gospel mm -hmm. uh, musician. He was on showbiz a to z at the weekend and he's mm -hmm. been talking about how he had the calling of god mm -hmm. on his life he's always knew mm -hmm. that he had that uh, calling and so when he came it was just a simple thing for him okay. uh, to do so he had this conversation with my colleague uh, kwame dazi on showbiz a to z there there has been a call on my life okay yes uh, and the mommy who any say you know growing up like um, going to church i get a lot of prophecies you know any church i enter yeah the mommy pam when i pick the bible and i want to read i come across something yeah the mommy pam so it, it's in my dreams and i had personal encounters too even when i was doing secular music wow so ask me i didn't want to accept it because i i i was young i feel like i was on two fiesta i was hitting mm, yeah and my name was everywhere so i'm like fatun <laughs> chain we want to you know pop and have fun so along the line um uh, um it, it, it the the encounter was was very uh, strange it was it was very like profound and strange so i had to forgo everything and then you know accept it because i was asking myself if you don't accept it right now when do you want to accept it because do you do you, do you want to be like the codemos before you you accept so i started you know paying attention i started paying attention and and he so introduced me to a church um bhl now gdci yes he introduced me to a church and kakran kakran kakra even when i was there and we are you know oh yes, really even yes, when you were yes, there because if you when you are when you are saved it doesn't mean everything is pepepe -pe. that is why the bible says that work on your salvation I worship Elohim all my days. praise the lord wow praise the lord. oh i haven't listened to the full thing but i'll yeah, go and look for it him. yeah it it that's starts really, so powerfully that's a really powerful yeah. voice he's he still got it and we're grateful to mm. God for his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but, but you know, don't be surprised if tomorrow I, you see me also stand behind the pulpit to preach. Well, somebody has, you know, prophesied mm. that I was going to be a preacher. You I mean, definitely can come. Yeah. I had a prophecy long ago. I always say that I've been dodging it, but one day, one so, day, can so strike me is, down. So what is going on right I now? I don't so know. We're both going to become pastors. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, if you see us become, you know, prophetess and prophets one day, Please support our ministry because it's very important that you support our ministry. And also, I also urge you to support the ministry of Afronita. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she yeah. has this thing coming up, mm -hmm. Afro Star Kids Academy. This is a dance class mm -hmm. for kids between the ages of 3 and 12, so your yeah. children. Yeah, yeah, When I heard it, they came to mind. I said yeah, I'll take them can, there. can sign yeah. up for it. Mm -hmm. She uh, gave us all the intel on Hit FM this morning. Oh, Afronita, I remember I created that name on this staircase in my GHS. I was just sitting down trying to find a name to create an Instagram account. And Danita, so Danita came from Danita, but Afro to me represents everything African. And my aim, one of my aims is to put Africa out there with dance. So yeah, Afro and Nita. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and, and you have a, 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 a dance school? Yes, please. I recently opened a dance school for kids here in Ghana. Congratulations. And with time, we'll be all How do you call it? Afro Star? Afro Star Kids Academy, yes. It's a dance school for children ranging between the ages of 3 to 12. And God being so good, we are having our lunch this Sunday, 12th of April. Oh, nice. Yes, at Fit Trip. Fit Trip. Oh. But where, where will the school be? Where will it be located? In the studio space, Fit Trip. 
Oh, fit trip? Yes. Oh, then let me register yes, my daughter. Yes, please do. Are we paying to, to join? Okay, so the registration fee is 250 and monthly subscription is 500 Okay. But for people who are interested in just walk-ins, it's a 150 series. But aside that, every other detail is on my website. Afronita right there. Now, book breaks before we go. Jonathan Majors has been sentenced to one year of domestic violence counseling after being convicted last year of assaulting and harassing his ex girlfriend, Grace Jabari. The actor must complete a 52 week in person domestic violence programming in Los Angeles, where he currently resides. Uh, there will be an opportunity in the future to the session to be uh, partly virtual. He must continue the mental health therapy he has been enrolled in and provide updates on his process. The judge also plays a permanent order of protection against any contact between Jabari and Majors. Any violation of criminal activity could result in him facing jail time. The sentences, sentencing was delivered Monday by Judge Michael Gaffey in a lower Manhattan courtroom almost four months after Majors found guilty of two misdemeanor counts of harassment and assault against Jabari. Mm. So finally, the case is over. We're grateful. Mm. And he's gotten his sentence. And it was in jail or prison. So we pray that he recovers. You know.